Happy Monday, team. We are here with a bunch of gymnastic work today. I'm gonna go over everything and then I'm gonna show you what I want specifically for you to focus on. So today we start with an Imam 6, that minute one, minute two. Minute one is gonna be a handstand hold. Minute two is gonna be a handstand push-up negative. We're then moving on, 130 on, 130 off for three sets. It's gonna be that uh, handstand work, just like we did with the chest bar work, we're gonna do the hardest of something all the way to the easiest of something or the least complicated. So it's gonna start with strict handstand push-ups. Once we fail out on those, we have no more left. We're gonna go to box pike handstand push-up. Once we finish with those, it's just gonna be pike handstand push-up. And then we finish with those, we're going to a plank matrix. So we're just going to the least challenging from the most challenging, up to down. Afterwards, you've got a 15 minute MRAP. That MRAP is 10 shuttle runs, five bar muscle ups, and 15 wall walks. So we're gonna be upside down a lot today. For our finisher, it's gonna be three rounds of one minute plank and 20 V-ups. What I wanna to talk to you specifically is handstand push-ups and their scales. Maybe we're like at a sticking point and we're not really progressing in the handstand push-up. There are ways that you can find these movements and make them harder and or easier so that you can progress. What I have here is a yoga block and some ab mats. Consistently, I see people get upside down in the handstand push-up, and they just don't have the range of motion, but they're pretty strong through most of it. Well, what we do with these is we bring the ground closer to us. So I'm gonna show you from the box what I mean with that. So if I just can't reach my head to the floor, I can put a mat or two and stack it so that the range of motion is shorter. And this applies when you're on the wall as well. So you'd get your feet up here on the box, You'd get up in the pike position, you'd move these so that they're in front of you, and you go to press. And all of a sudden, you have created a situation where you are more advantaged in your pressing position. And again, this works on the wall too. If you wanted to do handstand pushes on the wall, you would just stack multiple mats or multiple blocks to make it so that it's easier. And the cool thing about the block is it can go this way, this way, or this way. So you're just shortening that range of motion finding something that works and building strength in that range of motion. I hope that helps you today. That's it for Monday. Have a great one.